America! Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. We are checking out the new Smith M&P Shield 2.0. As we know, uh, at this time of the year, a lot of times there's not a lot of stuff being released. Uh, but uh, Smith has chosen here in the last few weeks to release both the M&P 2.0 Compact and the Shield 2.0. So we are going to check out the Shield 2.0. The Shield in the past for us has probably been the most popular handgun that we have. I mean, we sell tons of them. And uh, I think that's really probably across the board. They seem to be a lot more popular than say the Glock 42 or 43. Um, the 43 is a nine millimeter model. They seem to be more popular than any of the other single stacks like the car guns and, and that kind of stuff. So uh, we were excited to see the new shields come out uh, just to kind of see what was different. So that's what this video is gonna be about. You know, how do they shoot and uh, what's the difference and that sort of thing. So let's move into looking at uh, what's in the box and what the difference is between the two guns. So again, we're just going to kind of work off of my tailgate like we do in some of the videos here. Here is the box. So it comes with your standard sort of uh, cardboard box. There's not much exciting. You know, it's a pretty low priced handgun, so they don't include a lot of, you know, extras like hard cases and that kind of stuff. Most of the Smith stuff, you don't start seeing the hard cases until you move up into the more expensive ones like the M&P 2.0, uh, the, the larger guns or, you know, of course, any of the performance center guns or the revolvers, that kind of thing, uh, they do uh, come in those plastic cases. So here is what is in the box. It has the gun, of course. Uh, it comes with the slightly longer magazine uh, that is good for the, uh, you know, kind of gives you this little pinky extension down on the bottom to make it a little more comfortable. Uh, under this piece here, it comes with the shorter magazine. That might be good for concealment or something like that to keep the longer one from digging into your side. It comes with the Hillary Commie Lock that comes in all the other guns. Uh, you know, this was actually in the, the breach or in the chamber whenever we uh, took the gun out of the box. Chamber flag, I guess is the word for that. And then it's got its manuals and warranty information and all that kind of thing. So let's take a look at what is different. So here are the two guns against a white background. This is the 2.0. This is the older shield. Notice that they are open uh, and safe because everyone is so hateful in the comments we decide to make sure that all safety rules are adhered to since everyone is a safety expert. Everything is clear, everything is safe. So this is the older one, as we said. So really the only differences we can see much of are there's a, down here, if you can see it in the bottom, there is a little trigger stop down here. You can kind of see it. It's it may be a little hard to see. It's right in front of my trigger or in front of my finger. It, it pokes out there in the bottom. So that is the trigger stop. They have moved that. Now it is up here. See it poking out right there? So the question is, Mr. Guns, why do I care about a trigger stop? Well, the reason is because Apex and the other guys out there that make uh, replacement triggers for these guns. I can't think of other brands. I'm sure there are some. Apex is the first one that comes to mind. Their trigger has a big fat piece in the back. So I don't know if that was intentional with Smith to try to make it difficult for aftermarket triggers to go in there, but nonetheless, uh, that is what they have done. Also, uh, in this gun or with this gun, there is this more aggressive uh, stipple pattern here. And I don't know, again, uh, our theory is trying to get to focus. Our theory is that maybe they're kind of going after the aftermarket a little bit uh, with that stipple pattern on the handgun since everybody seems to want to take their guns and stipple it. That looks like it is terribly out of focus but that is the deal there. It's the stippled grip is essentially the difference. 
you look at the old one, it's a lot smoother and a lot, uh, you know, it's, it's just a much simpler pattern. On top of that, the new gun does have a little bit of scalloping up here in the front. Oh, I just went into focus. That's awesome. Has some scalloping up here in the front that does not exist on the older gun. The older gun was smooth. And just in case we were horribly out of focus, which I think we might have been, I am going to show the grips one more time. This is the older M&P shield. This is the newer M&P shield with the uh, stippled grip. So that is really all there is with the guns, is the the grips, the scalloping, and that trigger stop that is in the back that I'm going to show you one more time. So there's the other trigger stop. 1.0, 2.0. The magazines we have verified do fit either gun. Again, this one, uh, like the grip is stippled and rough on the bottom, the old ones are not. So that is what you are gaining there as well uh, with these new magazines. This is an eight round magazine. The short magazine is a seven round magazine and that is what comes in the box uh, with it. Both of these guns come with these same magazines. Currently, this shield is a little more expensive than this shield. I suspect that this will be a wholesale replacement for the older model and that the prices will balance out and basically be the same. So that is the situation with those two guns. Uh, now we're going to shoot them. Alright, so we are going to run the original shield now. I, believe it or not, even after owning a gun shop, I've never run a shield. Almost everybody I know has one. I don't. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and run it. We're running like just cheap 115 grain PMC full metal jacket ammo. So I'm going to shoot it. We're going to see how it turns out. Oh wow, okay. That's good. So this looks pretty good. I was pulling right. I know this is me, but once I kind of settled down and uh, started shooting a little better, I pulled them in a little tighter. And these two are stacked right on top of each other. So uh, this gun really shoots as well as its bigger brother. Uh, that that mid-sized, uh, what they're calling the compact MMP 2.0. So, a couple things that we forgot to talk about earlier. Supposedly they replaced the trigger. We put a pull gauge on this gun, and the old shield. They both weighed exactly six pounds. So, I don't know what they changed. They feel the same to your finger. I can't tell any difference. Another thing uh, that we failed to mention earlier is that these guns come with safety or without safety, just like the whole Smith line. All the 2.0s, the compact series, the full size, the original 1.0 Smith guns, all those come, come with or without safety. So uh, the MMP series does. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we failed to mention earlier uh, whenever we were doing the tailgate shot. But I'm going to go ahead and, and shoot this one now and we'll see how it goes.
So you can see it grooves really well. We put a, a few dead center touching each other. Uh, and then there's a couple that, you know, I'm sure that's me pulling. But, you know, for a gun that has a little bitty short barrel like this, I think this barrel is probably maybe three inches. For a gun with a barrel that short, uh, this is about seven yards is how far we were shooting. But for a gun with a barrel that short, that's a really accurate little gun. I can't complain. And like I said, this is my first time to shoot this. I was very surprised at how well it shot. I was super impressed with the M&P uh, 2.0 shield. I'm really happy with this little gun. You know, before too long, we're gonna make some video series about the guns that everybody should own. And I think that this may end up on my list. It's thin, it's light, it's easy to carry, and it's really accurate, like you can see there. So it's a great little gun. Um, if you don't have one, as cheap as it is, I would suggest running down to your local gun shop or, of course, coming to MrGuns.com and uh, pick up one for yourself. You guys have a good one. So we're going to do something that I don't normally do, but uh, we had such a good time shooting this gun uh, in the video that whenever we went off camera, I said, well, I'm going to shoot this gun some more. So off camera, I stepped back, I shot a little bit more, and this is what we ended up with. As you can see, I kind of pulled a couple here, but these are stacking right on top of each other. I have to say, man, I am super impressed with the accuracy of this little gun. So anyway, thanks for being with us. Y'all have a good one. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video, and we hope you'll follow us in the future.